What's everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video on Forgotten Church Channel. Today we are exploring an abandoned church, a Latter Day Saint church, to be more exact. I don't really know the history of this place. All I know is that it was built in 19 in the 1950s. But the main thing that about this church is that it apparently burned down about not even that long ago, six six months ago or so. Um, we don't really know what the cause of it was, um, based on the news reports and articles I read. It sounded like the fire was caused from just poor conditions of the building. Uh, the, build, the, the, the roof of the building had a lot of water damage, so it had to, it must have been something connected to that fire. So it, it was most likely due to the structure itself causing the fire. There was no suspects of arson. So the fire was most likely caused to the building's age, um, causing the building to be abandoned at the moment. It caused $10 million in damages. So my thoughts is that most likely you're not gonna rebuild a church for for that amount of damage, you most most likely this building will end up being torn down within the coming years. But without further ado, that's basically it. Let's get right into his exploration. Oh, this is really like storage. Yeah, it's just a little storage room. This is the main for the rest. No, the main doors over there. So yeah, they just left everything here after the fire. You know, you got. Small popcorn machine, Christmas trees, a bunch of Christmas ornaments. You got all the sound and audio equipment just left here. That's crazy. Like all this stuff, this audio equipment, it's at least a few thousand dollars. You have document papers for the ward. That's interesting. I think I bet all the files are still in here too. Almost, it's locked. Almost it. Yeah, everything still left in there. It's crazy. You even got jerseys. Got songs. That's insane. Well, guys, we're in a section of the church. But unfortunately, where we want to go is back here. And as you see, we have all this decay blocking us, but what we, where we want to go is in there. I see roof's completely gone. But there has to be another way into this particular room. There has to be. All right, we got another way in. From that dead end we to find another way. Not the best way as you guys can see, but the other way. So we may be able to explore some of this building, if not all. It's down there and there's upstairs, which is where the chapel is. I would do here first, since we're already here. what we can find because these are most likely going to be the rooms in the synagogue like this right here is for chick kids like look at that you already got a book in the mormons right here and underneath it probably another some kind of religious text a bunch of children's toys right here just relaxing so down here probably they would have had like Maybe daycare down here. That's usually what they do with like religious temples. As in downstairs would be where like either you went to they did religious school or just to stay daycares, and then upstairs is where um, all the religious stuff would go on. As in like that's where the temple would be because it's a similar thing to the synagogue that we explored around a, a while ago. Let's move on. Upstairs or here, because this shit is gross. You don't have to continue through here, but I like to check this area out quickly. Because this is going to be like the most important stuff, I think, would be down here. Even though it's like terribly damaged with water. I 
I have no idea what that is, but this is like a server room. It's a bag right there. I don't know if that's from a homeless person or whatever, but all the equipment's still here. You got a flat screen TV. Got your monitor. Everything's still here. That's probably what happens like with fires with places like this. Like you got a closet full of like just electronics. They just leave everything. They kind of just have to as well. They don't really have a choice when it comes to like buildings set on fire. Like a small office room right here. Yeah, this basement's like very bad. The paintings are cool. Yeah, that's probably the best part. It's the paintings you find. I just want to serve as a whiteboard. Material center. They had a podcast. Interesting. We had all the religious texts are still here. All the Bibles. Oh. Yeah, literally everything's still here. Very iconic building if you live in the DMV area. You guys would know exactly where that building is. And in a way, it's connected to this church right here. Yeah, guys, apparently this office, I came back here for a few photos. Apparently this office right here was the clerk's office, which I'm not quite sure what that is regarding to a church, but it must have been important because again, they had a monitor there and they must have had a, a TV there for some kind of entertainment. Maybe a security office, I'm not quite sure. And down here, it's just lines of like old rooms. You know, nothing much. That crazy or really interesting. So we did that room. There's a few more rooms down here, which again are probably all just going to be like rooms like that. Oh, this was a big auditorium right here, maybe. This was used, this was definitely used for something now. Oh, is that a baptizing tub? Oh, that definitely what it is. Yeah, because you got a mirror there. This was used for baptizing. It had to be. Not quite, this was just probably just a conference room of some kind. Got the old piano back here. Look at this. Now again, this building was only abandoned. It's only been, been abandoned for like since the fire. And the basement's pretty trashed, but that's just because all the water damage that gets in here. But this. This is pretty pristine. Yeah, look at those keys. Okay, it still works too. Close. All oh, those books. Look at all the mold in those books. Wow, again, this has only been through six months. And all that water damage did that in six months to just a few books. It's crazy. Got some old crop flowers right there. But yeah, you would like hang your clothes here, a little changing room. And then right here, you step in. 
Yeah. That's definitely a beam. That has to be big. What else would that be used for? Especially since it has like a viewing right there. So you guys see, it has a viewing. This has to be a baptizing tub. I have no idea what else for this to be used for. It also has a mirror right there. It's crazy that you have some more stuff back here. It's a restroom. Oh wow, this was probably another kids room maybe. Like a classroom. Yeah, this was another classroom. Had to be. I'm the child of God. This water damage. It's probably the worst we've ever seen inside of a building. This, because this building's not even that old. Built in the 50s again, but only closed recently due to a fire. So, so for it to have this much water damage this early, it's like crazy. Again, that's probably due to the fire causing the water to be so bad down here, the damage. But it's still interesting because like out of all, because like we've been to hundreds of places and this is probably the worst for water damage. So if the water damage is here bad, upstairs is the floor is going to be bad. So we gotta be careful where we step once we get upstairs into the temple, if we can even get inside the temple. Probably not all the way, cause that's where the roof collapsed, but we can probably find a way to like some areas of the temple to get some good shots for you. That, it looks like a face, like a head. It's most likely debris. Because this is all like clean up crew, crew after the fire. That's what they want you to think. <laughs> so see guys right here, this is one of the old fire hoses. Roberta, this is how you say. That they would have used. This is part of the fire, because the fire I think started right up there. At that steeple I think it's called. But yeah, the whole roof of this building is just gone now. Which is very unfortunate. And they left so much behind, but again, they had to do that because of the fire. But yeah, you got this right here, which is like almost kind of warped. Again, that's all from the fire. It's all warped. You got like, again, I'm going to be careful where I step because it isn't safe to walk on this. But right there, you got a trophy of some kind. There's a nice room back there. Clerk's, another clerk office room, but we're not going to bother walking through all that. There's a society room which looks very nice. This is one of the main things. Oh my gosh. This is the gym. I didn't even know that this church had a gym. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Especially that. That's fucking nice. It's uh there's one on the other side too. That's and it's barely even damaged from the fire. This room's pretty it's untouched. Just moldy. Yeah. This one's pretty too. I kind of like that one better. You got the nice cabinets right here. This is a very beautiful room. You got another nice lamp right here. Yeah. And then you got all this open space right here. This TV is not even touched. The downside of this place when it becomes well more well known. People are going to start stealing these TVs because that is a pristine flat screen. No damage, nothing. Yeah, another piano right here. Beautiful piano. Not all the keys work, but that's okay. I like this, it's a lot better. Not my natural. I like the natural light that's coming in from this, from the fire damage. So even if, even though this build, this burning of this building was a tragedy, especially for the community, there's still beauty within the building itself. But I think, unfortunately, this place is probably going to be torn down because again, ten million dollars in damages. They're probably not going to fix it up. They're probably going to tear this place down, especially from what we've seen from the basement. 
and up here with all this damage, they're just going to tear this, tear this place down. Which is very unfortunate, because it's such a beautiful building. And it's basically kept its age, there's not really much that many, many reservations. The only renovation updates is um, the drop ceiling. Other than that, there's some still pretty pretty dated stuff in here, like the vase, the, um, the cabinet over there. That's probably from early 90s, mid 90s, like 1990s for sure. Okay, this is the kitchen right here, guys. It looks like everything, like even food, has been left here. There's utensils, some more utensils, some more stuff, and like even plates down there. Over here, you got like the whole kitchen area. You got the fridge, which is like full of stuff. I'm not going to get near that. You got two stove ovens. About say stoves, those are ovens, and then you got all this work space right here. You got like some more stuff right here as well. Very beautiful. The way the light is coming in through that window, very nice. And then through here leads you to the gym, and that's a big gym. Wow. Again, this. We're basically standing on the gym floor right now, which is completely covered in like roofing. As you see, the roof is basically coming down. So probably not the best, but we're gonna see if we can get some shots for you. You got the beautiful stage right there, opening up to the the um the area where they would like do prayer and stuff. And then you got this nice basketball hoop right here. I really like this stage. There's even stuff behind it. Probably not much, but yeah, you got just got some chairs, some more stuff back there. The the stage lights itself are just on the floor, as you guys see. Fell down from all the way up there. You got some curtains in the back. You got an American flag just folded up over there. Wow. You got a projector right here. Yeah. That's beautiful though. Like again, it sucks that this place burned down, but it's so beautiful at the same time. This this decay that you're seeing. For one thing, it's definitely a lot better than what we were seeing in the basement. And I, for one, am kind of glad we're out of there. So we did the auditorium right now. It was an auditorium and a gym. I'm actually surprised both of the basketball hoops have not come down. As you guys see, they're both pretty well up there. They're like the only thing that didn't come down because everything else around them regarding the roof has basically collapsed. But as we make our way over here cautiously, you guys see some of the original flooring of the gym. It would have been a beautiful gym at one point. This wood, very old style wood for school gyms. As we make over our way over here very cautiously, this is the this is the chapel area. That just looks terrible. This would have been a pretty beautiful church. You know, you got the very old style windows with like the spider web windows up top like you were getting asylums. Doesn't look like it would have had stained glass, but still, it would have been a beautiful church. Here's another look at it guys for you. As you guys see, the all the roof is completely gone. All you have left is the steel beams that, were, that was holding it up. And all the way back there, you guys see that was um, probably like, I forget what it's called, but those would have been numbers of like uh, chapters you would have read within the Bible, I believe. Still up there. But yeah. That's what we got. As you guys see, we got a little closer look at it. Again, that's the windows. That would have been the altar right there. You can actually see some of the pews right there. Those look beautiful. Unfortunately, we can't get to them. But that's some of the pews right there. They would have looked beautiful. But unfortunately, they're covered by all this rubble. 
But yeah, this is the closest I'm willing to get. And even this isn't the smartest. But yeah, it's, at least you guys see a little bit of what you may have been missing. But again, yeah, all the way up there would have been the altar, but there's no way, no safe way to do that, really. Um, but yeah, that's basically it there. It looks like a little classroom right there. Do you guys see? Looks like a little room right there, some kind. But anyways, we have one other section of the building to check out. Um, and then after that, I think we are done with this exploration. Yeah, guys, one more thing. If you remember the beginning of the exploration, we were right in there, that doorway over there. That's where we were at the beginning. But luckily, we were able to find a way inside the actual church. guys final section of the exploration again you probably won't be able to go for it this looks a lot worse because again this is around the area where the fire would have happened which was the attic you got a little cubby right there oh, that's a pretty cool room You got a better view of the steeple, which is where some of the fire, I don't know where, I don't think the fire started there, but it started somewhere up here, because we are technically in the attic right now. But yeah, there's that hallway, which is completely just trapped. Yeah, full extent of damage, like all that's gone. Again, that's where the chapel would have been, that's all gone. And you kind of get a decent overview of the gym, which isn't bad. I think if you come over here, you get probably a better view. But that's basically it. You get a decent overview of the gym. And then there's these rooms back here, but I think it's all like trashed. Yeah, like that room's all gone. Yeah, this is definitely where the fire would have started. Look how black that is. But yeah, that's all gone. That's completely gone too, and there's probably some rooms back here, but I don't think there's any point of really trying to get to them. They're completely gone, but yeah, this is definitely where the fire would have started. Probably in this room, if anything, and it would it just spread across the rest of the building it's a better view guys sun's right there oh man but yeah that fire really did a number yeah like that's the room that we saw it in down there completely gone only thing that's left of this place is a shell Anyways guys, that's basically this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. We're finishing off in the gym here where there's a lot of beautiful natural light for you guys. But anyways, that's basically for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. This was, I wouldn't say it was a risky one per se, but it was a very fascinating one. This is a pretty modern style church and the fact that it became abandoned, I would say pretty uncontrollable circumstances is very unfortunate. But we still were able to explore this beautiful place. As I've been saying throughout this video, even though it's a, this church has been burned down and it, it's very, very sucks for the community. It's still pretty beautiful in this decay because like this is all natural decay. None of this is vandalism. This is all natural decay from water damage and fire damage. But yeah, that's basically this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this exploration. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.